All right, boys, welcome to a new DayZ adventure. And we're back on Deer Isle, my favorite map, or one of my favorite maps. Look how big the mountains are. Maybe we live on a mountain today. I want to make a cliffside base. That's my goal, because I've never lived off the edge of a cliff. And I have some ideas on how it can look. And I want to make it very secure and try to hide it as best I can, because there's some big groups on the server. So we need a home that's going to last us, where we can be safe. Maybe it'll be on the mountain, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to go meet up with my friend Emnix, who is already on the server. And he's been getting a little bit of money, so I think he has some starter supplies. So let's head over to meet him before it gets too dark, and uh, we'll go from there, see what we can do. Now, you are a trader. Yeah. Which is not too far from me. But I'm going to try to get a gun first. I'm at this little spawn area where there's like these guard towers. Oh, yeah, I see that. He's trying to get me a little bit of clothing, you know, a little bit something just to get me started. Sounds like a plan. I see at least two people running towards you. <laughs> if I get a gun, I'll be okay. If I don't get a gun, well, it's a different conversation. I mean, I could run after them. So here I was only two minutes into my adventure and danger was already on its way towards my direction. I had to try and get a gun quick and get out of here before it was too late. Helmet? Not bad. Gloves? Oh, someone's under me. No, he's in the next tower. We're good. That dude's looking kind of a little geared. Am I even going to cap? Hey! Hey, you! This dude has a huge bag, bro. Where do you get these bags from? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, he's fresh. Should I go beat the brakes off him? I kind of want his bag, man. I got I to go do it. Okay, I just saw him somewhere. I think he's in this camo tent here. Oh, if he stays in there, I can lock him. I gotta do it, man. Oh my god. Yo, he has gear. His name is Kanash. I'm sorry, man. You killed him? No, and no, I'm gonna leave him alive because I, I feel bad. I, I like he did a little friendly jump and I waved, then I locked I moved in and stun locked him. Yeah, did you take his shoes? No, I'm not, bro, I'm not evil. <laughs> oh my god, he's running around. He's looking around, he has no clue. Wait, I think he sees me. Oh, he's, he sees me. This definitely wasn't how I wanted to get my first set of gear, but the bag this guy had on was far too valuable to give up. On top of that, he had a 5.56 mag that came in handy because only a few minutes later, I found an ACR in one of the guard towers. With this new gun and some better supplies, it was finally time to head east and meet up with Emnix by the trader. That guy I just robbed, he's about to be real pissed when he enters the trader behind me and sees me wearing his bag. I got to the trader and the first thing I did was check the prices of various items to identify a good way to make money. On most servers, I like to check the hunting traders first because that's usually where you can make the most profit. And on this server, that certainly seemed to be the case. I could catch a variety of tropical fish and sell them for a decent amount of money. But the real money was made in selling animal pelts. A good bear pelt could fetch us $15,000, meaning if we could just take down two or three bears, that would be enough for a box of nails. Definitely something we would keep in mind. I don't know, should we roam or do you want to make a starter now? We should make a starter now because I have the nails on me and stuff. Oh, you already have nails and stuff? Okay. Yeah. Well, to start, we're not making a freestanding base, right? We're just putting a door up somewhere? Yeah, 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 we have to. In that case, we have two options. We can go Bayville, which wouldn't be bad. Because if we build Bayville, we have access to BM later on. We can leave the starter there and yeah. use it to, like, store stuff to go sell at BM. Sounds good. The town of Bayville was close enough to the trader for us to make easy trips whenever we needed. And more importantly, it was a quiet area where we wouldn't be bothered too much by others. All that was left now was to head over there and find the perfect spot to throw our base down. Oh! Where is it? That's a pelt, man. That's a free pelt. Jesus. I did not know they spawned here. Two pelts? Wait, isn't this like 30k? I think so. Oh my god, we gotta go back and sell this. This is too much yep. money to just walk away from, dude. We quickly turned back to the trader to sell our pelts, and we ended up making 20k off of this one random bear attack, which was a lot of money. If we didn't damage the pelts, we definitely could have made much more, and this got me thinking of a business idea we could try after we set up our base. Yeah, people are going to check these hunting stands a lot, for a fact. What about the cabin? It's just two doors to block, this one right here. 
Oh, hmm. but it's high traffic. It's like same same situation really. People are gonna be running here, no matter what. Wait a minute. There's a barn here. This might be perfect. Empty barn. Just need to put up two doors or a door on a wall. We're good. And that way we're near the water too, so we could, in theory, make a boat parking or something. I don't know how we would do it yet, but we could use the boat from here because we're up north. And this gives, gives us access to the Arctic. We can go to this new island up north and we can go to the western island chains. Uh, close to the trader, to black market and the normal one. Yeah. yeah, this is a perfect spot for the starter. Oh my god. You know what? I like that. No one's ever going to raid us with that. They're going to think the base is full of poo. You know what? I like that. There she goes. Let's slap the code lock on there. Make whatever code you want. And uh, we're good to go. Alright. I'm going to put the stuff up. And we're going to go hit the closest military. Which is basically just north of here. Alright. Let's head out. Oh, helmet. Take that back home. For, with us. It is a good sense, really. But some things are open and some are not open. So watch out. Yeah, I'm gonna check this guardhouse. I don't think I'm gonna check the barracks, because I swear those are god-awful. I've never seen anything good in one of those buildings. Finding some mags, though. These aren't too bad. Oh, what are you? That's dead. That dude's geared. is a full ghillie. Where is he? Ah, fuck. Where is he? Is he looting you? Maybe. I see him. He's running. Might be solo? You literally can't see in this grass, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's running. Oh, man. I don't know where he went, though. I don't see him. He gotta live somewhere over here, dude. The way he's playing and running, like, he's either running to safe zone or he's running to his base. But I don't see any bases in this direction. It would really just be him running to safe zone, maybe. He left some ammo and your food. That's actually worth grabbing. And I got a shotgun for you. This guy ambushed us very well, and because of his ghillie, he was almost invisible in the trees, so there was no hope of us recovering the gun he took off of Emnix's body. I grabbed whatever stuff he left and headed west to regroup. Since Emnix was gonna need a new rifle, we decided to meet up and loot the island just north of us. This island was a newer addition to the Deer Isle map, and we had never been there before, but it did look like there was an airstrip on it, so hopefully we would find some good military supplies there. I'm on the island. Let's go. How are, how are you so fast there, dude? I still have 300 meters. I mean, good luck, because I'm half dead. But you know what? If there's gear here, it was worth the swim. That's all I'm going to say. I'm about to be red food again in a bit. Eh, I don't know about the loot here, buddy. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, no, man. Our last hope is this airstrip. There's something of value. If not, this is just a... It's an L all around. We checked the entire island and didn't find one single item here. It seemed like this area was still a work in progress and loot wasn't even configured to spawn. The problem we had now was that Emnix was starving to death and he wouldn't be able to make the swim back without dying. We had taken a gamble by checking the spot and we lost, but this island would still have some use for us later on. For the time being, we made the decision to stash some gear away and respawn down south on the mainland to search for loot. You bastard. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna respawn, man. Fuck it, yeah, let's go get some gear. This island ain't it. No, man. <laughs> help me, you fade, man. Help me. I'm coming towards you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I have an axe. Come bring them to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they chasing you? Yeah, yeah. Catch me, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, come on. Yeah, oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll be taking that food. Throw away the items. Like the clothing, throw them away. <laughs> you're evil, man. What, are we gonna get let them live? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up, guys, didn't you? <laughs> no, yeah. he's I'm next back up. Yeah, yeah. Come ah. on. Oh, this guy's still got a knife. This guy's still got a weapon, dude. Let them bleed out. Let them bleed out. Run, run, run. I'm not trying to get cut right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he bled out. 
No way. <laughs> Alright, let's get to Paris Island, man. No more messing around. Enough fun. Oh, he gave up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was toxic, dude. That was fucking toxic. I'm waving at him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I got an AVM. Oh, wait, 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 wait. His gun's here, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's you, dude. Oh. Can I take this? Yeah, take that, take that. Yeah, this ain't too bad right here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, that's still reloading. No, it's not. That's not you? No, 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 no. Somebody's reloading. It buffed me then. Yeah, yeah, he's up here near me, I'm pretty sure, dude. You sure it's above you? Where you heard it? it? Was, yeah, it's like between us. I don't know. Maybe he's under me somewhere, but I don't know where you can be. I heard it like right here. Could be down in the thing. Yeah, he's definitely in here. Probably upper floor, if anything. You hear him? You hear the shooting? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in there. That's not inside. Yeah, that's outside. I don't know. Someone's in there, though, for a fact. We can camp it when he comes out. We can headshot him, dude, when he crawls. Easy kill. Yeah, it's time to go. I don't think he's gonna come out. If He, he would've came out by now. Yep. Dude's probably just scared, holding <laughs> holding a corner because he heard us above him or something. I don't know. That dude just got slammed, bro. Good job. Oh, another oh. one, another one. I'm knocked. That was my bad. I shouldn't have looted, but I thought it was just one. I'm up. Yeah, I don't know where he is, though. He was uh, behind, like, uh, I don't know what direction that is. Towards the water, like, where you are. He was over there. Suppressed, something suppressed. I moved back towards the way we came. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he should have been right where you are. That's what it is. No chance to. Is he on me? No, no, he's on the fence. He's on the fence. Really? A bit more to the right. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't even hit him. You knocked or you dead? I'm dead, dead. He's running. Is that just one? Yeah, I think it's only the one. He's looping around. He sees me. Or he saw me, I should say. Should we be dead? Pretty sure I dropped him. Uh, yeah, should have had a foul tactic, but that's kind of nuts. <laughs> wow, he had a 308 automatic, and I somehow survived that. They they came from Trader, they have cash too. Saline? Oh my god, they're loaded, dude. Did someone of them had a suppressed gun? Main gun? He had a suppressed M110, I think that's probably what he got you with. He had a crazy custom AK too, but I ruined it, of course. I probably have like 5k worth of cash. That's back that way. Here we go. I can go. Oh, on, over there. We're marked at the fence to the right. He's, he's on our side? Yeah, 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 red shirt. I see him, he's in front of me. Coming. Geared or? Yeah, he has stuff. He's probably gonna go up and loot. We can catch him here. Oh, yeah, I see him. Over. Yeah. What? He's dead. Well, let's move. I don't know if that's the guy we that was shooting. I don't think so. Let's go down and run up north. Like you know how the way we came in and go up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right in front. Yep. Two guys fighting, I think. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm walking out in the wide open like a donkey. Oh, on me. Killed one. Oh, I just saw you murder him. <laughs> I got that one. Killed him too. No way. Good kills, Chief. I'm here. This is me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. There's three bodies here. Yeah, they killed one guy and I killed them. Alright, good kills, my boy. Good kills. Oof, I'm seeing some big boy guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sleeping bag on this guy? VSSK? M98B? 228 no. gun? 
Nice, M110 nice. semi-automatic. Nice. SRS with like three, no, two full mags. I like that. We had full bags after this run at the military and it was now time to head back north across the map to our base. The path we had to take back home was pretty much a battlefield patrolled by other bandits and groups, so we would have to be very careful. And while we make our way back, let me quickly tell you about a different type of battlefield. This one is called Call of Dragons, and it's a sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Call of Dragons. Are you prepared to train up your heroes with unique skills and powers that can be used to turn the tide of a battle and defeat your opponent? If you're looking to put your skills to the test in an immersive and epic fantasy world, then this game is perfect for you. In Call of Dragons, you can deploy thousands of troops and work together alongside other allied player forces to form a strategy on the battlefield and outplay your opponents. It's possible to field a variety of troops including ranged melee, flying, and even magical units, and you can even fight and capture giant behemoths and dragons to use as secret weapons in battle. Geography also plays a big role in shaping battles. With terrain featuring mountains, rivers, valleys, and more in a 3D setup, you have to use your positioning to your advantage in order to emerge victorious. No matter what tactic you would like to play, every season of Call of Dragons offers a fresh start, allowing you to pick whatever playstyle you want. So it's always a great time to try out the game. So what are you waiting for? Experience an original, immersive, and epic fantasy world. Download Call of Dragons for free now using my link in the description to start your adventure and support my channel. Use the code PLAYCOD now for some free starter packs. Thanks to Call of Dragons for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get back into the story. We successfully made it to the trader, which was halfway to our base, but we still had to cross the most dangerous parts of Deer Isle up ahead, so we tried to plot the best course. Alright, off we go. Alright. We have a journey ahead of us, that's all I can say. Yeah, we'll go Sunset Cross, cross the Duskar, through Alderboro, and then... Yeah, I guess that's the best way, yeah. Oh, player in front. See that? No, I don't. He's running to the right, he's running to the right. Like over there. Uh, are we chasing him? He's, he, he crossed us, yeah, he crossed us. He doesn't see us? No, I don't think so. I mean, let's go try to catch him. Oh yeah, I'm after this dude. You think he's going to town here? I don't know, he was running to the right, it's the same way that I'm running right now. Oh, shot me? Where is he? I don't know. I don't- Oh, I'm hit. He's behind us. I th he's behind, bro. We ran past him. Yeah, dude. They're lying in the grasses. All the stuff we fought for at the military base earlier was at risk of being lost if Emnix died here. I respawned and tried to get back as quick as possible. Dude, he, I don't know what he's doing, but he's just shooting. I don't see him. He's just shooting through the grass and hits me. Because he probably has grass turned off. <laughs> yeah, but he has, probably. Wait a minute, airdrop. Whoa, 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 no. Please, God, tell me. Tell me there's something. It's looted. God dang it. Well, we just lost a lot of our stuff. That's always fun. I tra tra did I trade it with him? I don't have kill feed. I don't know. Oh, my God. Dude, he has a minigun. Well, the guy who was shooting me is suppressed, so... He, I killed the guy that uh, killed you. Was there two? He shot you with the PKM. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With Emnix now dead, things were looking really bad. Our window to catch these guys was closing fast, but we still held hope that we might be able to get back there and make a play. We got back to our bodies and almost everything of value was gone except for our sniper rifles. The guys who killed us took the scopes off, but we still had loaded magazines and that was enough to make something happen. Now we just have to find them. Oh, are they in the military with someone? Is somebody in the military? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's uh, at the at this uh, at the keycard room. Is it Garen? Yeah, he is. I think two guys actually. Let's check. Uh, maybe it's the two bozos that were camping. I don't think so. I think they got killed. I think they did the keycard. I see one outside. Should I shoot him? If you have three shots, try it. Yeah. I think I missed him. I don't have a scope, unfortunately. I don't see him, where is he? He ran in the room, I'm pretty sure. There's someone outside still, on the right side. He's in the window, he's upstairs in the window. <laughs> Hit him? Yeah, that's behind the, behind the keycard room, someone. Did I kill him in there? Yeah, yeah, you killed him, you killed him. I see him, I see him. He's a big gun. He's shooting at me. Can you shoot him? There's three guys, I'm trying. Killed one? Uh, yeah, I killed one. He's in the hay bale, maybe, or is he... Yeah, one in the hay bale, one hay bale. Is he still up there? I don't think so. Watch out, there was still someone to the right of the camp, the military camp. Blue backpack. Oh yeah, I'm getting shot at, I'm about to die. I don't see him. Yeah, I don't either. 
I'm gonna try to push to the camp, I guess. I'm hoping I don't get hit. He's gotta be at the building, right? Oh, I see him, I see him. He's in the woods. I marked where he is, roughly. Yeah. He's in that tree line yeah, right there. He's running too. right, I think. Alright, give me a second. I, I had shot of him, I'm uncon. Is he he's down or? Yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. There was another thing, I think, too. But uh, more to the building, to the military camp, I think. You he died right like three meters in uh, to your right now. To my right? Yeah. What in the field? Yeah, right to you. Oh I see him, yeah, I see him, right. I see him, I see him. Yeah. He's got gear, bro. I know, I know. Bear pels? What the fuck? Did you did you push yeah, inside yet? No, no, he's dead. You killed him. I saw the kill. Field. No, but there could be more. There could be more. I have to ban this shit. I'm not doing too good. Bro, they have so much shit. Like bear, uh, bear pelts, pristine. It could be them, bro. That's what I was thinking. What's the odds? We we spawn and catch them. It was them. It was them. They had to do hundred drum mag for the HK for the uh, Sky H. At this point, let's just get out with what we have. Yeah. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Perfect. Thank God we salvaged that, dude. I was I was really down after they killed us. Dead? Might be more. Watch coming, out, watch out. Yeah. What? I was about to drink a soda. Dude with the biggest bag I've ever seen runs in front of me. It was a close call, but we were able to recover and come out with even better gear than what we died with. After crossing the danger zone in the middle of the map, it was pretty much smooth sailing the rest of the way back to base. She's there? Yeah. Nice, okay. Perfection. I guess I'll just put it next to this one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh that's nice. perfect. Look at that. Two more slots. We can also add our bag in there. Just have a bunch of storage. Off of these guys, we got some bear pelts, which could obviously be sold for a decent amount of money, but I had a different idea in mind. If we combined the pelts, we could craft a special bear suit that would let us survive the cold climates of the Arctic island. This island has lots of mysteries on it, but more importantly, it has polar bears, and last time I was there, I found lots of them. In the past, this area was far too remote to reach without helicopter or boat, and if you tried to swim, you would die because of the cold. But now we had this new island north of us that was recently added, and although no loot spawned on it, we could use it to directly access the Arctic without needing any vehicles. If everything went according to plan, we'd be able to head over there and hunt enough polar bears to make us a ton of money and buy the rest of the nails we needed to set up our main mountain base. But first, we needed to hunt one more bear on the mainland in order to make suits for the both of us. Yep, yeah, yeah in front. Left. Well, left? I heard it this way. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it. Yeah. There. Nice. All right. It just looks like a ghillie suit. Oh wait, we can't. Oh, we can't take a bag though. That's that's kind of a problem, man. All right, boys, we got the ghillie suit we need. Base is in good order. We have storage. Now it's time to go find some polar bears, make some money. I'm hoping we can make a good amount. As I said earlier, I'm gonna take some food with us just in case. So we have this gas stove. And other than that, we should be good. We're not gonna get cold with this ghillie suit on now. So, be okay. Yeah, there's a, there's like an old aircraft carrier that froze. So we should probably check on that, see where it is. And I think it requires a key card as well. Oh, uh, okay. We'll check that, get some polar bear pelts, hopefully. And uh, come back to all them, make a decent amount of money. And uh, yeah, use that to buy nails and make main base. Dude, stand still. There's yeah, a boat! Stand yeah, yeah, stand still. Maybe we should swim. Why don't we be less visible if we swim? No, he's going to the safe zone now. Thank God we're safe. That boat scared the daylights out of me. Bro, look at it. Wow. Yeah. Look at that island, man. That's beautiful. The bear suit did, in fact, let you survive in the Arctic areas, but it had to be dry. In our case, we swam, so the suits were wet, meaning that they were useless, which is why you can see our health already low before we even set foot on the snow. Wait, there's a heli on the aircraft carrier. Do you see the aircraft carrier? Kinda, yeah. Is there a loot in this thing? No. Damn, that would have been nice. Wait a minute. What happened to this helicopter? What happened to this guy? Can we parkour this, you think? 
No. All right, we gotta go around. There's gotta be a way. Just, just boost is fine. We'll come back for that. Wait, dude. I don't think you can even get up here. We need another bag. Unless this ladder works. No, no. No bueno. We couldn't find access to the main deck of the aircraft carrier, and to make matters worse, our bear suits got wet once again, and we were dying fast. We tried to make a fire on the carrier, but we weren't able to do so, so we were forced to abandon it for now and make a fire on the main island. Oh, I just dropped my cooking pot gone as well. Nice. Fuck, what? you know. Everything is glitching through this ice, dude. I lost all our food. Almost all of our food. Damn. Poor uh, guy driving the plane. Or the people in it. I don't think they made it, man. Driving? Or flying, I guess. Let me just scout from up here for a bear. Oh, what is this? Viking pouch. Oh, okay. Take that. There's Viking stuff here. That is odd. I feel like we definitely should see bears by now. There was another village on the other side. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah. Well, here's the entrance. We need Thor's hammer to get in there, unfortunately. You can also get in through that, but uh, it's kind of hard to boost into there. I don't even know if it's possible without a heli anyway. The trip to this island was not successful at all. The Viking temple was sealed off with no way to get inside, so we couldn't really get any loot off of that. And after checking the entire island, we had no luck finding any bears, which brought my business plans to a halt. I still had some hope that we might find something on the aircraft carrier, which we checked on the way back out of the island, but even there, there wasn't really a whole lot to it. There wasn't any rooms we could access, and although I knew there was a keycard room here, we just couldn't find it. With the cold getting worse and our hunger dropping even more, we had to get off this island quick before we died here. It was starting to look like I would have to find another way to make money and get my supplies. This island certainly wasn't worth coming to again. Alright, we're safely home. I'm gonna log out for a bit. Take just a little bit of a break, and I will be back on in like an hour. And it's gonna be daytime by then as well. I don't really want to run around in the dark. Can't see shit. But uh, yeah, once I'm back online, we'll cook some of this meat. We have a gas stove here. Thank God we had another one. And uh, yeah, we'll head back out there. Try to find some other ways to make money. Probably go hunting. And uh, if we can get more nails, we could probably get the starter up. I think I want to build it on the mountain somewhere. But for now, we need nails. So let me log out, take a break, and I'll be back on when it's daylight. And we'll get going. It is still dark, but it should be morning soon. And uh, yeah, once this food's done, we're going to head over to Trader. I'm going to see what prices are looking like for fish, see if I can make some money. Maybe I'll do some fishing, honestly. Also try to find nails, really. Nails is what's going to hold me back right now. So we got to find as many nails as we can. Let's see what fish is looking like. I think we checked this earlier, so you can see a lot of these would sell for like 600 crabs 250 so you could make good money if you sat there and fished what the heck i caught a sailfish it thing's huge man this better go for some good money all right here we go so we caught four fish in our initial test run we caught a sailfish a bonita angelfish and then a jellyfish which i've filleted everything so that's four species of fish Let's see how much this all sells for. I caught them in about, I'd say, four to five minutes. I think I started off with like 800, so we probably made like three or four K just for that uh, little fishing run in five minutes, which isn't bad money, to be honest. Maybe I do some more fishing here, boys. I did a bit more fishing and I was able to catch a lot. On the average 10 to 15 minute fishing run, I could make about seven to $10,000, which might sound like a lot, but nails cost 75,000. I'd have to do this for hours before I was able to get a box. It was fun trying this out, but just like my polar bear hunting plans, this would not end up working out. So I just grouped up with the Mnix and we made our way west to the town of Portland to try finding nails and other construction supplies in the industrial parts of the town. Oh, shots. Did you hear that? Uh-huh. Killed one, I guess. Even though I don't have a kill feed, he had a weapon. Footsteps, fine. You sure? Uh -huh, uh huh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over here. I see him, I see him. Where is he? He's running left. Oh, there. Hit him? Yep. Mm, only food. Grenade. Uh, SRS. Grab the food, though. Oh my god, I found a box of nails. Oh, nice. It's a miracle. Thank you, God. We've been looking far too long for that. 
poor creature. I see a player. Up there. Two players. Yeah, three players. Where the f did they go? One is on my ping, like right to the right of my ping. He's, they're walking down. I see him. Whoa, did they see us, you think? I think so. He's shooting at some, someone. There, I marked him. Yeah, where's the others, though? Uh, to the left, I think. If he stands down, beaming him. Yeah. Wait, get the range right. 500. I'm, I'm on yeah. 500. My shot got eaten by a bush. Yeah, you have to, you, don't, you can't stand in the bush. You can't. Oh, no, here, there he is. He's going to the right. I see him, I see him, I see him. What? What? How does that miss? Up there. Two guys. One is to the right, one is to the uh, left. Yeah, I see them, I see them. Hit one. Are you shooting? Dead, dead, dead yeah. Where? Up there. Oh, you can see his body right there. I'm looping around right. I'm gonna try to get an angle on the guy on the hill. Like the body on the hill. That dude's looking for me shooting. He's like looking around the bushes where, like, in my general direction, I was sniping from. We stashed our new box of nails in the starter base and carried on the search for more. While we were at it, we went up into the mountains to also see if we could find any good spots to set up our main base. Looks like somebody was farming something here, man. You seeing all this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Got a little wheat farm. Got Pablo's uh, jungle camp over here. There's a one by one base. Oh yeah. Well, guess we're not building here then. This would have been ideal though. Right by the water, you got that camp. It's just the best spot. Wait, it's open. Is it really? Yeah. Think it's raided or? Probably not raided. Raided. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute now. Yeah, it is. It is rated. Whoa. Let's check his tent. Um, no, there's tools, man. There's tools. Whoever used to live here had the same idea I did. And this was kind of concerning because if they got raided, then what would stop the same from happening to me? If I was going to do a base up in these mountains, I was really going to have to find the best spot and build it in a way where it'd be way harder to find. You good? I'm good. Just murdered somebody. I hope so, he's dead. Oh, shots! I don't know where he is. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. Oh yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Oh man, I'm bad. Wow. Did you kill him? No, 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 I missed. Oh, he's running across the street. Uh, he's running to the other A3. He ran maybe past other A3. Yeah, he's in the red brick. Inside red brick in the staircase maybe. Or he ran through. I don't know. Dead. Good shots, bro. Yep, staircase. <laughs> uh, he had nothing, actually. Yeah, he really didn't have much. To say the least. Alright, well. At least we have one box of nails so far. Let's keep checking, and then I guess we head back towards base. In the town of Alderboro, we found another box of nails, which was just enough to get our mountain base started. Now it was just a matter of finding the right spot and starting construction. I need to find the right spot to build off. Like, I want it to be a cliff. What about here? This is kind of covered. It is. This really ain't bad, right? In this cliffside, forest under us. What about here? Let's go check, yeah. Oh, you know what? That might be better. Yep, I think this is it, man. Because now they can't see us from that hill. It's actually hidden off the, the ledge. Man, that's not bad, boys. That is not bad. Okay, so I want to do the window like that. Mm, we're not gonna have much headroom, but let me just try it and see. Okay, I think that looks good right there. Oh, you can see that's perfect, dude. You get a nice little angle down at that side. That's ideal. I have an idea. Now, this might work, might not work. So you open the garage door, 
It opens outwards. You'll be able to enter here by proning. You enter the bottom compartment when I build that eventually. And it works for the top as well. So one door covers both technically. You see that? So you'd open uh. it like this. Perfect. You get out, close it. We don't have a lot of room to work with, but that's because we don't have a lot of nails to work with. And in this game, sometimes you have to be resourceful with the little stuff you have. Otherwise, I would have built, made a much bigger base. I used up all of the nails I had, and it was enough to make most of the base, but I still needed a few more boxes to finish the top floor where I would be able to put a farm so we could have unlimited food. Overall, I was really happy with the place we picked for this base. If you were uphill, it was hard to spot it, and you couldn't spot it that easily from downhill either, which was very important considering the area we were living in. Right up the hill from us, there was a massive underground bunker with some of the best gear on the map, and because of that, a lot of big groups would come up this mountain. That's probably why we found a raided base earlier but I was convinced that ours would not get spotted. Anyway, we started hearing some shots up from the bunker, so we took a quick break and went down there to see what was going on, hoping to maybe find some nails off somebody. You hear that? Yeah. Heli. All right. In front. Yeah, yeah, I see it. He's coming down, bro. Get ready. Oh, he landed, I think. No, no. he's hovering. He's gonna land at the house, possibly, and drop people off. I see a guy coming down. Yeah, I see a guy, yeah, yeah. Two guys, one's wearing neon. Yep. They're gonna see us, most likely. One's running back. Watch left guy. Okay, yeah, he's, he's aiming, he's aiming. At us? No, 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 he's aiming down. He's right at my mark. Hit? Dead, I think. Neon guy, two other guys. The neon guy is left. Yeah, I know. Where's the two other guys? There's one more there. He's running right. He's running right. Yeah, I see him. I missed him, apparently. He stay, he's aiming at us. Watch out. He's aiming right at us. Um, okay. Nope. Ah. All right. Since I got picked off, I took this opportunity to respawn at the starter base and begin moving all of the stuff to our main. While I was doing that, Amnix grabbed the stuff off my body and made his way back down the mountain to meet me. After moving the last of our stuff from the old base over, it was now time to head back out and look for the last few boxes of nails we would need to finish up our farming area up top and put the finishing touches on the base. Oh, guy down there. Where? Down below me. Here, marked on the dead bodies. No way. Oh, he's dead. Well, let's see what he has, dude. Imagine his nails. <laughs> that would be scripted. Yeah, of course. Hey, he's in his helmet. Should take that honestly. Fishing stuff. Where was that? I think towards the industrial. From my best guess, but you know the same. Oh yeah. yeah, it is. It is. Oh yeah, in front of me. Train tracks. In front of you? Yeah. Over there. Oh. I can't mark, like this way. I don't, I don't, I don't see him. No, no, he's, he's trying to fence now. Yeah, I see a guy right here on this brick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the same guy, though. Oh, I see one. T two on me, two near me. They're running uh, up, th like, north. Can you mark where? Roughly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, He just ran in this container. Like, okay, okay. Yeah. Right there. Two of them. I think it's just a two-man. Both black. One poncho, one uh, just black clothing. Yeah, yeah. Hit one dead. One dead. I killed one too. Black gear? Or? Yeah, yeah. I killed black gear as well. Maybe that's it? These dudes literally have RP kits. Holy shit, yeah. Like, they have joints and AK mags. I don't see gun, though, at all. Yeah, that's a packet. Cat package. 
I didn't even hear a plane or anything. It's not even on the map either. Wait, we could get this, dude. We gotta run. There's a dead zombies here. Did you kill these ones? No. There's already dead ones here. Someone's here, dude. Someone might be inside this building right here. Like in this building upstairs. Most likely, because someone killed zombies. There's a key card. It's still there. I'm gonna try to grab a key card, I guess. Yeah. Kill the guy. You good? You shooting zombies? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Zombies. Uh, I got key card, two phones. Just other than that, it's a plate. It's kind of trash. Key card's the best thing, really. Dude, bullets go through people in this game. Like, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> we should get out of here before gear dudes pull up. I'm gonna run. Yeah, uh, run. Where does green key go? This could be our ticket to nails, man. We got back to base and dropped off all of the new stuff we got from the airdrop, and then Mnix logged out for the night. We still had a lot to get done, so I decided to stay on a bit longer and head out to do a solo run to get some much-needed supplies. Some benefits of living on the mountain. There's some really, really good sniper spots. This isn't too far from my base, and this is the entrance to Portland. Now, Portland, for whatever reason, is completely walled off. The wall just goes all the way to the coast. Anybody leaving Portland, or spawning there for that matter, and heading to Trader has to go right through these gates right here. This might be more efficient than heading into town and looking for nails. I just gotta let, like, fresh spawn spawn their loot and bring them to me. Uh, not worth shooting him. Mm, I mean, he could have nails, actually. He could have nails. He definitely looted the town. I need him to stop. I don't want to shoot leading unless I have to. Oh, there's two. I was dead. <laughs> I did not even know what happened. All right. Let's just make sure there's no more. Could be more. They have like an axe or a gun. I don't know. Bacon. I need food. Oh yeah, they looted a lot of the industrial. All right, let me pull back now. Oh, what is this area? I don't think I've been here. At least not for a while. Oh my god, there's a mega compound down there. What the heck? See, where do people get all these nails? I don't get it. Like, these gotta be massive groups, because I've been on the server for like four days, and I think we've only found like four boxes of nails in those four days. Well, I was gonna go down there and loot, but uh, considering that there's an entire compound down there, I'm not gonna now. I'm just gonna bypass this area and continue heading towards the sawmill, which should be just down the road anyway. We have a decision to make now. Do I head over to the islands, which is gonna take a lot of swimming, and pray to find nails there, or do I stay on land and go south? I made the decision to head out to the western island chain because the area was far more remote and I hoped that since people couldn't access it so easily, there would be an abundance of loot there. Okay, coast looks... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a hologram right there. Uh-oh. That's interesting. It looks like somebody might be building right now. I can go across and check. I mean, I have to go this way regardless. I gotta be really careful. I've been on these islands before, and people who build out here, a lot of the times they'll be fishing or just doing stuff on the islands, and I've gotten flanked from the bushes before, so it's it's really risky to die out here. On top of that, even if I kill them, they're gonna have sleeping bags, and I'm not, and I can't just easily get back here. Fire. Okay, they're active. Oh, he's cutting trees. Cutting trees. Yep, there's a guy right there. At least one. Yep, he's gonna be building. I should probably push back, try to get an angle on his roof. Could be a solo. He's living on this island, but it's a big base for a solo, to be fair. Oh, Ellie. Oh. Okay, I can use this to approach a little bit closer without him hearing me. Damn, if that's to this base, I can make a play. I can make a big play, actually. Oh, he's growing pumpkins, too. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Did 
Do I let him open door, boys? Wait, he's gonna have nails if he's building. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, he's dead. I don't know if that's the guy I saw. Hopefully that's a solo. Give me nails, baby. Give me nails. 100 nails. Big planks. They're fishing a lot out here, too. Dude's probably stacked down there. Oh, I hear him. He's in his base. Yo. Yo, hello. I can hear you running around, bro. What's up? Poop to me, man. He wants me to talk. I don't like that. Probably his teammates. I'm just a solo, bro. Just trying to build, man. Please leave me. Uh, leave me alone. Are you solo for real? Yeah, no, for real. I'm solo, bro. All right, man. I'm gonna leave. Sorry about that. I just need nails. I'm leaving. Yeah. Feel good, man. No worries, bro. I'm not gonna give you any more trouble. I feel bad because I'm a, <laughs> I'm solo right now too. I don't know if that guy came back out yet. He might think I'm trolling, but I I was sincere. I'm not gonna come back and kill him again. I, if he's actually solo, I truly will not be killing him again. I'll even be. And I do think he is solo based on what I'm seeing. The campfire, the pumpkins. It's a solo vibe type player. You know that island's meant for solos. The way he's playing, I believe it. So uh, yeah, we'll go back and talk to him if anything. But I won't be shooting him again or giving him a hard time. I got the nails I need off of him. There's a guy. There's a guy on that train. Ah, uh, you know what? He's not very geared from the looks of it. Where is that? Oof, that's leaving Swamp. Do I go for the kill? He could have goodies, boys. He could have something. You know what? I might take a shot at him here in the water, if anything. Nope, missed. He's gonna shit himself now. There he is, at the train. He has no clue where he's getting shot from, which is good. Alright, is there any more? What did you have for me, my friend? Let's see. Uh, okay, he had some stuff. He definitely did run through the military, as I expected. He had a loaded gun, yeah. I got back home and dropped off the supplies I had, and then made my way back to that first island I visited to see if I could talk to the guy that I killed. He seemed like a pretty cool dude, and I felt bad, so I just wanted to see what he was doing out there and maybe get to know him more. I feel like he's not on. His pumpkins are gone from the uh, greenhouse. He probably harvested and left. Hello? Oh. Yo, man. Sorry I shot you. I came back to bring you a code lock. Oh, thank you. I'm, oh, 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 don't shoot me. Don't shoot at me, man. I'm right here. Behind you. Behind no, 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 no. Oh, I have my audio. I I have my audio mixed. It. No, it, it wasn't my friend. It wasn't my okay. friend. I, I hear you. I... I'm going to give you a code lock. I'm going to head on my way, it's... man. Like I said, sorry for the troubles. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Here, go take you, that. You want some pump pumpkin? Yeah, please. I need food, man. Please. Also, look. You got to fix this metal. Do you not have metal for your door? Uh, no, no, I, 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 this is my first day on this map. Take this, take the metal. just logged out. Fix oh, the, you, fix the you. door before you get off, because otherwise it's gonna be a one, uh, like a easy raid. So, do that when you get oh, time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Whoa, why are you touching me like that, man? Are you, are you new to this game? Yeah, no, no, no new to this game, new to this map. All right, man. Well, be okay. careful, bro. Don't don't open your door too much like that, man. Someone else could have ran in. Yeah. Someone could have ran in and I took know. your shit. I know, I know. I trust, I trusted you much. Okay. Bye bye. All right, buddy. Take it easy. That dude is nuts. He, do you see how long he opened his door for? Like, if I were any other person, I, I could have shot him in the head, went deep on his base. Like, I don't even know if he has another door in there, to be honest. After talking to one of the guys living on this island, I just logged out for the night. 
The next morning, I got on early to head down towards my starter base and check on it to see if anybody had raided it. While I was about to reach it, the server crashed and at the time, I didn't think anything of it. I just loaded back in and carried on to the base. After making sure everything was fine, I stepped back out and ran towards the trader to sell a few things and on the way I noticed that there was a boat just sitting in the middle of the ocean. This was unusual and the only reason there would be a boat out here is if somebody left it, but why would somebody leave an expensive boat just sitting there? I took a guess that somebody had been driving by in this area and then the server suddenly crashed resulting in the boat stopping. This had happened to me a million times before so I knew that whoever owned the boat was probably going to load back into the server and when they did they would be a few hundred meters back in the water. So I just chose to wait here and see if somebody would show up to claim this. I waited for a while longer and it looked like I was right. A guy started to slowly swim up toward the boat and I waited to see if he would actually get on. I waited for him to board and then I took my shot. I had to quickly reach the boat and get on it before somebody else loaded in and swam up to it. The guy that I shot was pissed. He was threatening to report me and all types of other stuff unless I brought the boat back to him. Now I knew a false report wasn't a big deal, but I did have a bigger problem. There was another boat approaching with four people on it. If these guys caught me in the water, I had no way to defend myself, so I just stood as still as possible hoping that they would just leave, and that's exactly what they did. They didn't stop to try to check the boat or do anything else, and that left it free for the taking. This was one of my luckier moments in this adventure because I always wanted a boat, but I never had the spare cash laying around. The cheapest one was 80000 and we needed that for nails. Anyways, I went back towards the safe zone to park this thing, and when I got there, let's just say the guys that I took it from were not very happy. Hope you get cancer, my friend. Fuck you. I saved the boat in the garage because we were going to need it later on and then I made my way up to the trader to see if I can get some nails off somebody. The reason I'm narrating this whole part is because I had a Windows update the night before that messed up all my audio settings and it basically messed up 4 hours of recording because every time I would talk all you would hear was this. Try to afford another box of nails. Regardless of the setback I was able to find somebody who was selling nails for a very good price, 25000 Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And with this final box of nails, I had enough to finish the gardening level of our base. Now time to make this place a nice little small farming setup where we're going to be able to have food forever, basically. Nice, I think I died, yep. What? Are you actually dead? Yeah, I'm dead dead. <laughs> you don't have a bag here, do you? No, I don't. You know what? That's alright. Wow, beautiful. Alright, let's harvest these, get these cooked up and stored just so we have food. We're never gonna have to worry about food again, and this is the moment I've really been waiting for. Look at that, three zucchinis each. We also have the plant material, so what we can do is refertilize these for another run. That's huge. Like, I would live like this in real life, man. We're on a nice mountain. A nice fire keeping us warm up in the mountains where it gets really cold. We got... Oh my god, the f***ing zucchini's burning. <laughs> what? Yo! <laughs> hey, no way, dude. Did that again? Did that again? What the hell? This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen, bro. No, he's above, right above us. Little bird. He's gonna see us here. Yeah, he's just going safe zone, I think. Alright, fellas. The base is about 95% complete. And I want to give you guys a look at the whole thing. And the area we built in. So as you knew from earlier in the video, we built in a spot that's hard to find. And it's hard to reach as well. We're high up in the mountains. And uh, yeah, this is just... The perfect spot we haven't really been like shot at or attacked here so that kind of proved that we did pick the right spot to build on also we've had one door for like five days we haven't got raided a lot of other bases on the server i've seen got raided so far so that's good now when it comes to the design of the base i had to build it knowing in mind that i wouldn't have that many nails so that's why it's kind of small but just because it's small doesn't mean it doesn't have a lot of room inside we have enough room for me and emnix to live comfortably as you can see, he's up there in the window just surveying the land, keeping an eye out. The gate was built in a way where 
one gate can block the first and second levels. So the first level was basically just a little storage spot. This is really the bunker. You could think of it as like the best loot would probably be down here. And if you head on up here, this is like the main living area, I guess you could say. Just a cozy spot. You got the uh, standard storages like usual. Gun locker, workbench, fridge for the zucchinis that I'm cooking upstairs. These windows, I think I explained this earlier on in the video, but the reason we made them this direction is one, it looks cool. But second, most importantly, you can actually aim downwards if you slant the windows in this way. You'll see when I'm upstairs, we're not going to have the same view as we do here. Like I can shoot someone who's pretty much right under our base. On this server, we had a lot of trouble with food because it's kind of hard to come by. And yeah, you can buy it, but we're not always that close to trader. <laughs> Mix is an idiot doing backflips. But anyway, this is our growing area um, where I'm growing zucchinis and I put a little fireplace down here to cook them all. So Amnix has just been harvesting, cooking, and we have a new batch ready to harvest. And yeah, you see here, I can't really see all the way down. This is what I was talking about. So that's why we did the windows like that below. But uh, yeah, now I think we're going to go take the boat out, go roam, and really just explore the map a little bit more, see what else we can do. I mean, we have a safe base and we accomplished all the goals we set for ourselves in the beginning, so I'm happy with that. Since our time on the server was coming to an end, I wanted to give a lot of our good stuff to the guys I met on the island because I felt bad for shooting them and they genuinely seemed like good people. So we got on our boat and tried to sail in that direction. There's a boat in front of us! Yeah, 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 yeah. Did we hit it? I think we did, yeah. We hit, we hit his ball three times, though. Hit him again. That thing is fucking eating. On the way to the island base, our boat ran out of fuel and we had to abandon mid-sea, but we swam the rest of the way and were able to make it there safely. But just keep an eye out. They might panic, because yesterday I did sneak up and shoot him. Hello? Is anybody home? We're friendly. These guys didn't seem to be online, so we just dropped off our green keycard and some extra gear in a bag at their doorstep, hoping that they would eventually log on and find it. Alright boys, we left the stuff for him. I don't know if he's gonna log in anytime soon, him or his friend. If so, they'll find that bag right at their doorstep. If not, then it's probably gonna despawn in about an hour or two. With that being said, I guess we're just gonna go do one final run until we die. There's not much else left for us to do. This guy's running to those shots at uh, Westbrook that we were hearing earlier. Yeah, he's going that direction. There's two of them. Wait a minute. Two freshies running back. Yeah, these dudes definitely just died there. Yep, they're shooting. They're fighting. You hear that? Yeah. Yep, this guy. Uh, he's right over there. He's opening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suit. He's just fresh, though, looting. He has a gun, though. He's getting shot. Yeah, from the left. A uh, guy in this uh, right here. He's a gun. Freshy with the gun though. I'm gonna have to kill him. Dead. He hit me. I got a bandage real quick. Oh my god, it's raided. It's raided. Hold up. I'm gonna check a grenade. Could be dudes holding it. Hold that door. Yep. Gotta clear it out. Shots? Oh, from far, far. Is that a dust though? I think so. I don't Maybe. think they would have had an angle. Let's push this first. Here. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this shit got kicked in. Wow, grenade cases. I wish I could take these all to base. I mean, I technically could, but <laughs> I don't really want to. There's no reason to right now. Oh. See a guy? Uh, firefighter, he's behind L shape. He's behind L shape. We can just run out though, let's get out of here. It's not even worth staying here. Yeah, let's go. 
Look at all the fucking bodies, man. Yep. Must have been a huge ass raid that we stumbled on. From this point forward, nothing crazy happened. We just carried on adventuring through Deer Isle for a bit, and then we went home and logged out. Exploring Deer Isle and building this base was a really fun time, and I hope you guys enjoyed following along our journey. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next adventure.